Hi everybody, this is TT Readings and this reading is going to be for Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you guys is going to be for Taurus. going to be for Taurus. Let's see. Taurus, you can check out the link in the description box to find out more about your person. Uh, how are they really thinking and feeling about you? What's going on with them? Where is this relationship going? What does Spirit want you to know? And a very important self-love message that maybe that is all that you need to hear from that video. So do check it out. It will be linked below. Now let's see what's up with Taurus. What's up with Taurus? Let's see. The lovers wanted to come out. Love is showing up here for you. The hangman in the reverse. Absolutely. A situation is going to be moving forward, Taurus. Um, something is going to pick up pace again. Something that previously felt very, very stuck is going to pick up pace again. Somebody wants to open up. Somebody probably wants to say something. I see a choice here being made um, and it is about love. It's about love. Let's see. Six of Wands in the reverse. Okay, what I see here is that I feel like Taurus, you think that this person took advantage of you. Okay, you, f you feel used by somebody emotionally, mentally, whatever the case might be. Even though in your heart, there is still love for this person. But, you know, you may feel like this person betrayed you or this person uh, behaved with you in a way that you didn't expect. At least you didn't expect it from them. Okay, so it's, it's, it's more so that energy. Okay. You feel like they weren't giving you enough attention. They were taking you for granted in the relationship and whatever it is that you were bringing to the table. Okay. Another thing I'm getting is that there is a strong choice that you're making. You have six, 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 six. Lovers, the six of wands, the six of swords, the six of pentacles. There are too many sixes here. That in itself represents choices um direction a sense of forward movement a sense of balance but a sense of i feel like this is talking about you going through some sort of a challenge in your situation or in your life and then you staring your way out of it okay um it could be anything in your life it could be work related family related love related you are moving on from something. And I feel like it's about friends and family as well. You, you may feel like there's somebody who took advantage of you and you're separating yourself from such people. Uh, I do see a union here. I do see you uniting with somebody. I see you celebrating something. something. So this could be a good news as well coming along for you. But I, I see a sense of celebration here for you, five of wands. Uh-uh. Can I say something, Taurus? I feel like you're bored. You're bored of something. You're bored of somebody being the same way over and over again. And you're bored of giving the situation a chance over and over and over again. You're just, you just are bored of it turning out the same way over and over and over again. And even if this person comes back again, you're going to be like, what for? What do you want? Right now, I feel like you're feeling very conflicted. You're feeling like there is push and pull in your energy emotionally from all sorts of different, you know, angles. Like it could be work-related stress, then it is family-related stress, then it is this, then it is that. So there is a lot going on in your energy currently, Taurus, okay? Um, there is somebody who's not giving up on you. This person is not giving up on you. 
but you are wanting to explore you're wanting to break free from whatever confines you you just i feel like taurus this is more so like a no bullshit approach i'm hearing packing your bags and leaving some of you could be legit moving okay <laughs> Taurus, you're so not interested. You're so not interested. You're like, if I'm going to open up, I feel like when this person reaches out, you may even uh, even open up to them the slightest bit, but you're going to take it back. So Taurus is not having it. Whoever's if if you're a cross watcher, Taurus is not having it. I don't feel like it. Anyway, Okay, what is the overall energy for Taurus? Let's see. Pfft, Taurus, look at look at this. The death in the reverse and the two of swords. I feel like a part of you maybe still No. I don't think so, but I feel like it's the memories that keep you stuck. Otherwise, Taurus is like nope. So even if I feel like there's somebody that you find yourself thinking about, you're like, nope, I'm out of that. So I feel like Taurus, you still have feelings, you still have emotions. Of course, you're not a robot, but it's like you're telling yourself, no, I ain't, I ain't going, you know, I haven't got time for that. Yeah, you're turning your back to the situation and then boom, the situation appears again with the Ace of Wands. So it's not done yet, no matter how many times you decide to turn your back to the situation. Some of you are wanting to explore something new with your business and stuff, and you have a hard time giving somebody a second chance just because you do not want to experience what you felt. Wow. Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. What to expect for you in the future is absolutely beautiful. We have, first of all, the Queen of Wands energy, which is a very beautiful energy. This is somebody who's confident in their own skin. This is somebody who knows and goes after things they want, but not in a very like pushy way. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, ultimate. This is the ultimate. This is the wish fulfillment. This is the happy ending. This is the firm foundation. So I feel like you're getting the best of both worlds here at the end of the day. Something big is going to come in your life, like a new door is going to open, okay? But for that, I feel like you need to perhaps let a situation go or, yeah, it is about ending a cycle. What is the emperor here for? Emperor is here for the empress, baby. Okay, Taurus, the emperor is here for the empress best belief what is keeping you stuck i feel like you've wasted enough time on okay so this is now i'm getting it the message for you from this reading is to not waste your time with somebody you may have expected like oh okay this was my person but they didn't turn out to be that way yes i do see them coming back but if if this is somebody who has proven to you several times that they ain't worth it, then they're probably not. And I think I don't even have to tell you the truth about this. You already know that. Why? Because it's, yeah, it's, it's about your happiness. It's about getting what you deserve at the end of the day with the sun card. And with the emperor and the empress, you're going to be meeting your divine counterpart. This is about the divine this is about connecting with the one you're supposed to be with so in the future i see a perfect balance in the masculine and the feminine energy here okay no wonder this is what to expect for you remember ten of pentacles ten of cups i love this reading because i feel like you probably know the truth i don't have to tell you much and secondly, it's confirming a lot of things for you. It's confirming that you don't need to stay stuck. You don't need to be 
confused constantly because the fool is your energy and what you're headed towards. You're, you're wanting, you're aware of something, Taurus. This is a big awareness. This is a big change, a big decision that you might have made. It's not that easy to walk away from things, but I think you did decide to do that. And the more you do that and the more you go on that path, and if you're willing to open up to love, of course there's somebody you're supposed to be with and you're connecting with this person. This is a perfect couple right here. And I feel like this is something in the future for you. Okay. The signs in this reading are Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Leo. Okay. But you could be connecting with anybody. Libra, Virgo is here too, by the way. Capricorn, yeah, you could be connecting with anybody, but those are the signs that I see evidently. Do check out the link in the description box. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation, um, and your important self-love message. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below. We have the paradise, the snake, abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. Telling you to be positive in your approach. The snake. Somebody has been very, very envious of you. Be careful of your friends and stuff who pose as a friend. But every time you're achieving things, they're like giving you the side eye. So... There is somebody envious of you. Like I said in the beginning of the reading that you already feel used by somebody like a friend or a lover or somebody, okay? Happiness, expansion, joy, paradise, playfulness, oneness. So good times are coming in, but you have to be careful of who you let in your circle at this time, okay? The chaser. So there has been a runner chaser situation here. And I feel like, you know, you can judge it better, but I do see that you don't have time for it no more, Taurus. Okay. Let's see. What have we got for Taurus, please? What have we got for Taurus? Okay. Work through your fears, Scorpio energy. What is it that is holding you back? Okay. That is your message. To work on what has been holding you back and release it from your energy. That's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Taurus. I really hope that you were open to receive these messages. And I hope that you got something out of this reading, Taurus. Take care of yourself. Subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended link below. And bye-bye.